I... All right, everyone. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Mine in Abyss. And I have acquired enough redstone to probably get the first picture into uh, ROM here. So today we're going to be connecting up these lines and hopefully um, making the address system next. But I do need some more redstone for that, unfortunately. So yeah. First things first, we're going to connect up all these points to here. Uh, not not fully. Still going to keep the levers here until it's uh, fully operational. Uh, but yeah. Um, or actually, well, I'll keep the levers there until I get the first ROM online. That's, that's my plan. But yeah, time to connect these all up. And finished. All right, so I got this whole thing up and running. It's all linked in. Now we got just... Uh, and the first ROM lines, oh gosh, I got cursed. That's no good. All right, since the last time you saw me, um, I've lost a lot of footage making this thing. Basically, it's completed. Um, last time you saw me, we were completing these uh, basically image files. And uh, how these work is each one of these uh, holds an image. So it's clearer if we come over here. See, when this redstone line is on, all these lines on this section are on, and then they go from one, two, three, four, whatever. There's nine images. Um, we have six. Um, we have six uh, hunger phases, I guess you'd call it. Um, the fuller it is, the, um, uh, the more happier it's going to be. So, um, not really an easy way to manipulate the redstone signal other than just feeding it items. So I'll just come up here. And actually, um, oh, I haven't placed on the comparator correctly. I removed it uh, for some testing. Okay. Oh, perfect. So this thing has no items. It's dead. When it has uh, some items, it'll be meh. When it has a little bit more items, it'll be a bit more wide-eyed. Then when we get up to um, this amount, we'll get happy. I got this. Then we have one more. We'll get really happy. And then the final one is pretty much just being ecstatic. Like that. I'm going to take back all my items here and show you just exactly how this thing works. You see, what we got here is a red footer. So basically, um, this takes uh, redstone input signals from this comparator. And the more the signal progresses along, um, the more these torches light up. So. Uh, signal 1 basically is just this torch, signal 2, this torch, signal 3, this torch, and so on and so forth. Um, we already saw, saw the hunger phases, um, so we're just on stage 2, I guess, if you count dead. And um, if this thing is dead, it will not allow you to use these functions. Uh, but if it's alive, you can uh, throw that in there, and then you can complement it. And after a time, it'll revert back to its normal stage. You can also pet it. And then the last one is an animated GIF I made, where it basically goes back and forth like that. Um, and the way this works is we have a couple settings back here. Oh, uh, one other thing about the hunger. Every like 16 seconds or so, I have a timer back here. They'll drop one item from this chest into this chest, which is why I removed the comparator, so no items would drop in. But I'll put that back. You'll see as this uh, 12 lapis lazuli uh, disintegrates into nothing. But basically what we got up here is so when I press a button there, it overrides the red coder to zero. Um, but also I have a thing that overrides this function here, which is this um, line here that goes from 
basically when the hunger stage is on or when it's dead, it turns on these redstone switches, which prevent any signals from going through. And um, basically, if you turn on the redstone signal, what happens is this redstone line will go off. When this goes off, this will turn on. And this is a pulse extender. It extends the signal for a set amount of time, uh, more so than a button. And it uh, selects one of these slides. Um, this line right here, the animate if slide. And basically, when I turn this off, it cycles between picture one and picture two. Um, but um, that's basically how this machine works. So you got the lines for each frame, each photo just stored in these uh, memory banks. You got your pulse extenders. Um, your uh, I don't know what you would call this, but switch one, switch two, red coder. Uh, you have your red coder, our timer, and then we got chests. So as you can see, that 12 lapis lazuli has disintegrated into three. And when that chest empties, of course, it will go to dead. Um, but yeah, um, that's basically how this machine works. It's probably my favorite redstone machine. Um, there's, I guess, some computers I've made. But I really love this one because I've made it in survival. Um, also, I got myself a new skin based it off of Andrew from Maiden Abyss. Which, speaking of which, please check out the Mine and Abyss server. Come down to Ember Town, pay my little bot here a visit. But you know what? Until then, that's going to be all, and see you guys next time. Bye!